Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about the CRO coin because it's not doing very much, but also I want to talk about the crypto market in general because that is really looking good. Bitcoin is looking fantastic at the moment. It's trying, it's testing the area of resistance at the moment and I'll get into that in just a sec. But it's great to see that we are starting to see a lot of green again. And it's been on the hourly and we can see it on the weekly and we can see it on the monthly. And we can see it on the yearly. And we can see what is pumping right now. It's Bitcoin and it is the meme coins. But one thing at the moment which isn't pumping very much is, yes, it's our friend CRO. And CRO hasn't really been doing much. It's just been dropping down sideways, sideways, and that's it. It's not doing very much at all. And at the weekend, I got some messages off some of my friends at the weekend who own CRO. And it was moaning to me that it's just flat. It's not doing anything. And they've sold. They've sold their CRO because they're saying, I'm going to go into something else because it isn't doing very much. And I've even got my wife moaning to me because like, she holds CRO. Uh, and she's moaning that her money's just gone down and that. But obviously, it's not very exciting when you start to see uh, other altcoins exploding and then you see your coin that you own, CRO, is it just goes sideways. But we see that in the ADA community as well, the Cardano community, that they're in the same boat. And there's lots of altcoins out there in the same boat at the moment because what's happening is, is we've seen a lot of liquidity going into Bitcoin, but also a lot of liquidity going into the meme coins as well. Gaming is absolutely flat at the moment. Uh, so it's not just CRO. It feels like it. And it's very frustrating when you see a lot of coins start making pumps like Sui and such like, you know. But obviously, I own a lot, a lot of CRO. I own an absolute bag full of it. And it is frustrating when you've been DCAing over the bear market and DCAing throughout the, the sideways action of the summer lulls. And then it hasn't really done much. Uh, and obviously, we had that little bit of a pullback last week because obviously we had the SEC come in and do a Wales notice for Crypto.com. But at the same time, Crypto.com is suing the SEC as they should be, just like Kraken and, and you know, Coinbase. You know, but I have a visual in my eyes. I've done my research. And even though this sideways action isn't really exciting or doing anything, at the moment, I really do feel this is kind of bullish because... As people capitulate, as people are getting bored, and it's just one of those things that happen that you start selling, you get bored, and then what happens is, is the price starts moving down, and then we have this big push up to the upside, and then people start FOMOing in, and that keeps on rallying up the price. Because I know my friends will come back at some point. When they start seeing CRO hitting like uh, 10 pence or something like that, and going up to back up to where it was early this year, around about 17 to 18 pence, they'll be starting to buy in again. And that's how it works. And for us who just sit in here and holding and being patient, it will pay off. I'm pretty sure of it. We've just got to be patient and hold on tight. And this is another thing why I say, is why you should have a diverse portfolio. It, you shouldn't go with all in one coin. You should have a number of coins you go into. Because why one's going sideways, others are popping off. And then and then it just rotates around. That's what I'm doing. And we can see here, what Crypto.com done with the Champions League, the F1, the Grand Prix, UFC, and so forth. They're just building. But when you see this on the Kronos chain, that we're down at 20%. It wasn't that long ago. We were up at number 10. But we've been overtaken by so many other projects at the moment. It's absolutely crazy. And it does make you feel like gut sick that you've been DCing into CRO and it's done nothing. And you see your friends capitulate. And you see people on X capitulated. And the, the whole sentiment is down. But once we start to make that little move to the upside, the sentiment will start feeling good again. And it will do. It's just taking time. But I put a tweet out. When Crow pumped to one dollar, and I got a few people, fair few people, uh, liking it and commenting on it as well. But I want to point this one person out: Mary will lead the way. And I think, actually, to be honest with you, I really do think they're right. I really do think they're right. And I think once Mary gets listed on Crypto.com, it's going to bring sentiment back. I know a lot of people don't like meme coins. Meme coins are a part of the crypto ecosystem now. It's a part of the Kronos ecosystem. It's just like Solano with the Ponkeys and the Ethereums, you know, with the Pepes and the Mogs. You know, meme coins are not going away. Yes, there'll be ones with high, you know, obviously the ones will go to zero, but the more less riskier ones are like, obviously, like your Pepes and your Mystery and your Cores. I really don't think 
at this point in time, and I could be totally wrong on this, I don't think they're going to zero. But what I do think is, once we get a listing of Mary, I do think that's going to bring some positivity back to the community because so many people in the Kronos community are really, really wanting Mary to get listed. And right now, I'm not too sure why it hasn't, but the only thing I can think of, will 31st of October be the time when Mary get listed? But also, I think what will also happen is, and I know a lot of people, some people don't like birds. I like birds because what it does is it brings the supply down and it makes it more rarer. And when the market really, and all season really starts to pump forward, that will really push the price up. And once the RO starts to move and gets traction for the movement, then obviously the sentiment will feel a lot, lot better than what it is now. And also, we've got to bear in mind, the Kronos chain is fairly young, started back in november 2021 so it's going to take time for it to get traction it will do and we're starting to see that with the meme coins and like i said i know a lot of people don't like meme coins but i really like them because it can make you a lot of money the high risk high reward but also they could go to zero but i like them and i really do think it's going to happen but we can see on here we can see the wallets also growing on the chronos chain it's not coming down it's going up we're getting close to now to 1.5 million wallets and I think more when more and more people start talking about the Kronos ecosystem, like they do with Tron, like they do with Base, when we start people start talking about it a lot, lot more, which people are bought the Crowfam or not, Crowfam are doing their bit. And I think like, you know, with the Kronos chain, they need to do pump more out. And maybe crypto.com Chris needs to make a bit more of an effort, I suppose, in talking about the Kronos chain to get more traction out there and more of these bigger influencers to start to talk about the Kronos chain like they do, like we said, with Base and BNB chain and all the others. But it will come in time. Once we start getting traction, people will start to talk about it. And when we start to talk about it, that's when we're going to make moves to the upside. Because once all season comes, which is not yet, we're at 35% at the moment, it will happen because we're getting Bitcoin making some big moves. But when that old season comes, which it will, then obviously when we start getting retail come back, I think that is when we're going to shine. But I really, really want um, Crypto.com to list Mary. I really do. And I'm hoping the 31st is going to happen. And also, don't forget, we've got the elections coming up on November as well. We're only weeks away. And if Donald Trump gets some, word goes around, that the whole crypto market is going to explode. If Kamala Harris gets in, they say Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then obviously the altcoins will follow. But if Donald Trump gets in, the word is that everything's going to explode. But I want to put it out there, nothing is guaranteed. <laughs> nothing's guaranteed we're going to have an alt season. Nothing's guaranteed in anything. It's only probabilities. Remember that. It's just probabilities. But we can look at CRO at the moment. Look on the daily. It's just been downward. It's been, you look at, you know, you, you look at what's been going on on the chain, you look at the price action and you can understand why the sentiment is down. It's not looking it's not looking very healthy, is it? It really isn't. But I don't really like us being below the eight eight cents mark. I want us to get back up above this eight cents mark, gather up support around here, and push ourselves up. I don't like us being around here. I really don't, because Bitcoin starts pushing down again. Then obviously there's a risk we could come back down to that seven cents mark. Again, and even lower. But right now, on the daily, we've got the Mac MACD crossing over, which is a pretty bullish sign. And, now, and, the, and, the, and the histogram here is also starting to come fading out. And hopefully, we're going to start to get some green action. That's what I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that CR, the bulls could come out and start pushing it up. Once we, I think once we start getting some good news, you know, from... Crypto.com going into Hong Kong as an exchange and also going fully live in the United States of America. The app also going live in South Korea. Burns, Mary getting listed. So we've got a lot, a, lot, a lot of things to look forward to. We really have. And this sideways lull action is bringing sentiment down. But it will come back. You rest assured of that. It will come back. It's just going to take time, and it's all about being patient, sitting on your hands and waiting. And that's what I'm doing, because as soon as you capitulate, if I capitulated now, no, my luck, it's going to go up to, to all-time high. But I, that's what I think about CRO at the moment. So let's just have a quick look at what's happening with Bitcoin. So looking at Bitcoin right now, this is on the daily. We've got this area of resistance here. Bitcoin looks like right now on the daily, it's starting to break through that, which is looking really, really good. 
Also, the MACD is crossing over a bullish sign again to move to the upside. And now on Instagram, we've got here and now a green bar starting to appear. So everything is starting to look bullish. It, it seems to be, history seems to be playing out. You know, big, beginning of October, we're all hyped about you, October and nothing happens. And now we're sitting at the 13th, 14th of October and we're starting to see fruit starting to ripen up. And the Bitcoin is starting to make its way up to the upside and obviously it's breaking through this area of resistance as well and also what i want to point out on the daily as well we're starting to get closer now to the bull moon which generally a lot of times generally plays out to the upside and we're getting close to that about wednesday we should be hitting that bull moon so hopefully when that hit get hit we should start pushing up to the upside as we are right now we are pushing up to the upside but you can see on the uh, actually, if I come here, we can see on the daily we actually are created a bit of a W formation as well. So that's another bullish catalyst to move to the upside. So bear that in mind. We've got a W formation. We've got a bull moon coming out. We've also got the MACD starting to cross over, and we can see the money flow starting to come in as well. And also, what we're doing is we've and I mentioned this such a lot of times that we've got that cop. And we've got the handle being formed at the moment, which when it get a cup and handle, and when it does break up, it's not a gradual break up to the upside. It's a mass explosion to the upside. Everything seems to be coming into place. We've got the elections coming up. Bitcoin's technicals are setting up. We've got Bitcoin and basically getting adopted. Nations. And we also got like BlackRock now adopting it. And a lot of other companies and institutions adopting Bitcoin as well. Crypto's not going away. Bitcoin is not going away. Bitcoin is getting stronger. The history is starting to play out. And we're going to get some big moves to the upside anytime now. And we're starting to push up now. You know, nothing's ever guaranteed. And don't forget, everything is probabilities. The probability at the moment is that we're going to go to the upside because everything seems to be like latching in together. Like I just mentioned, the, 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 you've got the elections, the institutions. And now the only thing I think is missing is the retail. And people are saying, Retail are not here. Nobody's interested in crypto. But I think once we start hitting that $80,000 and start going up to $100,000 in Bitcoin, which I think we're going to get to, that is when the retail are going to start to come back. Because right now, they're not interested. But they will be interested. And what will happen is, is when they start coming back and start throwing them in, that is for us when we're going to start to be taking profit. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And going back to CRO again, and that is where I'm going to be doing with CRO. And once we start hitting that $1 mark, I, hands, you know, honesty, I will be starting to take profit. I will start to take profit when we start and get to a dollar. I really will. <laughs> you know, because it's crazy not to. When you start seeing retail really foaming in, everything's pushing up, mega, go, and then getting close to a blow off top, that's when I'll be taking profit. So once we start in a dollar, I will start taking profit. And... People say we're not going to get to a dollar. CRO is not doing anything. Mark my words. Nothing's guaranteed, but probability in my eyes, everything with CRO is looking bullish in terms of fundamentals. It's just a price action. It's looking pretty boring and not very exciting at all. But it will happen. It will happen. It's just about patience. That's all I say. We A dollar, I, do, I still think, is on the cards. You, like I say, it's all about being patient. So be patient. Enjoy the day, enjoy the week, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Oh, and before I go, hit that like, give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.